joins us now. It's good to see you again. Is that, that's what this really feels like, Joe. It's a battle. Either you believe the Fed or you don't, and you don't, and you, you don't want to fight it or you do. Yeah, I think what happened today, Scott, is that we, we lost the technicals as the leading uh, catalyst for which way the market is going to go. Uh, you had the green light in the middle of August from technicals. That green light quickly over the last several days since Chairman Powell's testimony, it was flashing yellow. And now you've got this red light. So it's not the technicals anymore that you're paying attention to. Now it's fundamentals, strong consumer confidence, strong jolts. It elevates in terms of priority Thursday's ISM manufacturing report and Friday's non-farm payrolls report. With each of those economic data releases, markets will be gauging 50 or 75. Which way is the Federal Reserve going to go? 4,000. Uh, looks like we're getting below that here at the close. Uh, so that's where we stand in overtime today. Significant or not? As I said, you lose. There, there is no technical catalyst any longer. You cannot rely on technicals in the market. You lost the 100 day very quickly. You lost the 50 day very quickly. You now break below 4,000. I don't think that means you're selling equities. I don't think that means you're buying equities. I think you're in this place of purgatory. And if you're able to find a select few individual stories where the technicals still look good, like an Apple, well, you want to take a uh, take that as an opportunity. Well, you tell me why the technicals still look good in Apple, because I could easily make the case if you think uh, that the, that the, the Fed is going to follow through on what it suggests it's going to do and rates are going to rise like they did today on better than expected data that that's going to be negative for Apple. It's no no surprise that Apple closes down under 159 today. It's a loss of one and a half percent. Why would that slide continue in, in, the, in this environment? Completely fair, but a lot of what I do, Scott, it's it's non-discretionary. It's rules based. It's take the emotion out of it. And if I'm studying right now, the technicals in Apple, they still look good. They're probably flashing that yellow uh, traffic light signal warning you that potentially you're going to need to stop. But we're below the 200 day moving average. The 50 is above the 100 day moving average. The technical formation, if you are relying on that and you can still in Apple, it looks good. I know, but the, the stock price continues regardless of whether the technicals look great. To some, it's going to sound like technical mumbo jumbo. If the stock continues to go down, who cares? Well, if the stock continues to go down, you're going to have a, a point of reference stop. So we're sitting right now at 158.92 is the closing price. Uh, I see 153.64 is your level where now that red light is flashing because you've broken below all of the uh, all of the technicals and the moving averages. So you can rely on technicals. They have a tendency to guide you in the right direction. They have since July. Apple, I believe, was as high as about 175, 176, Scott. You got a pullback down yesterday to 161 and a half. You know that's where I purchased the stock. So I allowed $15 worth of price correction to unfold. And I think I'm entering a low risk, high point of reference scenario where I know what my risk is. It's well defined. It's pretty tight. It's down around 153.64. And if you're right, the market responds to a, a more ominous signal from the Federal Reserve, I'll be out.